It begins as an audition, to test your knowledge, to put you into your position. After being watched and assessed, you're put into sets. They tell you, don't worry, it's not a competition. If you're lucky, you'll be with the nerds. You'll get the best teacher and your voice will always be heard. Surrounded by clever, compliant students, you're unlikely to step out of line. But if you do, you will be transferred. Down a few sets. In with the kids who have behavioural issues. Can't sit quiet, can't contribute properly. You'll never be very beneficial. They'll just give you a sheet as they put up their feet. Ask a question, prepare for dismissal. Sit in a chair from nine till three. Monday to Friday, five days a week. Sit and listen in class, write, don't speak. Do what the teacher says, don't critique. There's a syllabus, you don't get to choose which book, which theory you'd like to do. Your free time is for the interests you want to pursue. It's the rehearsal, the preparation for a successful career. You need the education. Memorise the terms, learn your lines. What matters is the mark on the paper. Then you'll be equipped with certificates, qualifications and the capability to sit for long hours and memorise so you can go on to do a degree and repeat it all over again, but this time for a fee, because these days nothing is free. Once that's over, you're ready for the show. Experience the real world and then you will know. Pythagoras, Shakespeare and iambic pentameter, although interesting, not the most practical. It turns out there's only one thing you need to know. Without love, all else is not valuable.